Hey, I'm Nate with CNET and we're here in Spotify's offices in San Francisco to check out Spotify on PlayStation Music. Now the service is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It brings Spotify to your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 console. Now what, what does that mean? That allows you to bring in the entire Spotify catalog, all of your playlists, all of the music you might listen to, all of the featured playlists that Spotify curates, brings that all to the PlayStation. Now that of course means you can get fire up a Spotify app and listen to the music on your console, but more importantly, to me at least, it also means you can play Spotify music while you're in the game. Just press the home button. The game will pause and you'll be able to control your music directly from a menu bar. You can pause the music, you know, crank the volume up a little bit, or switch tracks if you're in the mood for something different. Of course, picking up your iOS or Android device would probably be a little easier. If you're running the Spotify app, you can just connect it to your PlayStation and have, as you'd expect, full control over the entire listening experience. Spotify and PlayStation Music will be available on March 30th. You don't need to be a PlayStation Plus subscriber, and if you're not a Spotify subscriber, you can't subscribe to the Spotify free service. You are going to get some ads. If you're a Spotify Premium subscriber, or you want to subscribe, you can get access to all the Spotify Premium features, like higher bitrate when you're playing music, and offline capabilities. And that's Spotify on PlayStation Music. I'm Nate Ralph. Be sure to read more of our coverage on CNET. Thanks for watching.